Are you ready to do the last blocks on our red, white, and bloom quilt? Hi everyone, Kristen Som here, and oh boy, are we far along with our red, white, and bloom quilt. So we have sections one, two, three, and four done. And then we also have section five done and section six done. Oh my goodness. So today, and we also have the star blocks, by the way, the for our corners. So today we are going to work on section seven. It is our actually our last block and then a few fillers and we're done with our blocks. How exciting is that? We're really coming along on this. So let's go ahead and talk about what we need for today. So we are going to work on the relish block. It is on page 19. It's our official last block. Um, but then we do have the section seven fillers. So let's talk about what we need for this relish block. Like I said, it's on page 19. So I'm going to turn to that real quick so I can give you all the specifics. My poor book is so done. It is just falling out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those of you that go in and get your, your books, um, put into a little binder smart I, I never do that and yet mine just totally fall apart so all right so for relish today on page 19 we are going to start with this blue fabric it's light blue with a bunch of white words all over it picnic -y type words watermelon celebrate sunshine and so on and we're going to start with this at eight and a half by eight and a half our main fabric eight and a half eight by eight and a half and you do want to stabilize this i'm using the kimberbell fusible backing and uh, you do want this stabilized it's a pretty big piece all right eight and a half by eight and a half for our main fabric today all right and then we have three applique pieces nice and simple so for the mustard bottle, it is this yellow chevron, uh, golden yellow chevron. I do back my applique pieces. That's totally optional up to you. I, I find it makes it easier to cut and it gives it a fresh, clean look like it just lays down better. So on the mustard bottle, actually all three of these, it's going to be two and a half by three two and a half by three for the mustard bottle and then for the relish relish bottle this one is a green with lines all over and again i did back mine but that's up to you two and a half by three for the relish bottle fabric all right the applique piece and then for the ketchup bottle it is red with white dots on it and i did back mine with fusible stabilizer totally optional two and a half by three for the um sorry ketchup i almost said mustard again ketchup bottle for the applique piece two and a half by three all right those are our three applique pieces nice and easy and then we have batting because we're going to quilt this in the hoop so whenever we quilt we use our batting and so the batting is going to be seven by seven seven by seven for your batting today and we are going to quilt this block with lines one quilting in lines one in a six by six quilting design so really you can use any quilt design as long as it's the six by six quilting design which as you know means that it's really six and a half by six and a half so if you're planning on using your six by ten hoop just keep that in mind like I've mentioned in lots of videos it will actually come out to be six and a half by six and a half but if you want you can go into software I use in brilliance essentials and take out steps three and four that is the placement and tack down for the main fabric and that will bring the design down to six by six all right if you remove steps three and four of the quilting design the actual embroidery design will fit in your hoop no problem it's the quilting and like I said if you need to use your six by ten hoop you would just take out steps three and four all right and then we have our filler blocks so let me turn those are on page 33 there it is all right so filler blocks we get to make that flag all right we we did a flag i think in section two and now we're going to do the other flag in section seven so it's on page 33 the filler blocks and we just have one regular filler block and then we have the flag so for the flag let's talk about that first i don't have the size do i um let me look up the size hold on one sec all right so for your flags the stripes there's two red stripes and two white stripes they're both with the little petal 
flowers on there and both of them they're the same they are actually there's flag stripe a which is the red these are the stripe a and these are two of them one and a half by eight and a half and then these are b the white ones and these are also one and a half by eight and a half so you can see they're the same one and a half by eight and a half two of the white two of the red for the stripes now i actually did mine a little bit bigger you know me i like to do um things like this a little bit larger longer so that I, then I cut it down in assembly so um, after we quilt it I will cut it down a bit so I cut mine to half inch long longer so instead of uh, one and a half by eight and a half I did one and a half by nine on mine all right and that's optional it doesn't matter but if you're stabilizing them and I did stabilize mine I've got fusible stabilizer on the back or fusible backing on the back of them um, if you're stabilizing them then when you quilt it it shouldn't pull in but it could and you just don't want it to pull in so much that it changes the size of your flag because then when you put all your blocks together it may not fit accurately so that's why I cut them a little bit longer and then it will also do the tack down so the tack down just makes it really easy to cut and and have that done so stripes a and b like i said one and a half by eight and a half or one and a half by nine if you have the extra if you didn't see in my prep video i do recommend cutting them a little bit longer so on this we are going to quilt that with um, floral one quilting design in four by eight so again we're going to sew these together first and then we'll quilt it and when we quilt it we're going to want our batting of course so our batting is going to be five by nine since it's four by eight quilting design we want our batting to be five by nine batting five by nine for the flag and like i said we are going to quilt this with four by eight floral one floral one in a four by eight so if you are using a five by seven hoop you would just do a four by four and a four by four twice you're you're fine um, that will work just fine all right, so like I said, we are going to sew it together first and then we'll quilt it. Um, and then we also have one last filler block. So on this one, important information, I wanna point this out. So it's the yellow um, with white polka dots and floral on it. And we are going to start with this at three by 13 for your fabric, for the, um, the filler block fabric. And then also for the batting, same thing, three by 13. So in the book, it'll say two and a half by 12 and a half and that's fine too that will work but i recommend always cutting your filler blocks a half inch larger it just makes it so that it will tack it down now here's an important thing the quilting design we want a 2 by 12 quilting design in food 2 food 2 in a 2 by 12. Well, just recently, did you see the announcement that Kimberbell put out um, that they are doing their quilting designs to 12 inches now? Instead of having them end at 10 inches, you can get a 12 inch quilting design. So if you bought Food 2 in the past, all you have to do is go back to your Kimberbell account, sign in and re-download and you'll see those extra designs for the 12 inches. So the two by 12, in food too and it will work I just downloaded mine it works great so there's some um, question as far as it's the orange designs that are um, coming out in the longer sizes and some people are confused about orange versus blue and I have a great video that describes orange designs versus blue designs uh, block by block designs versus clear blue tile designs. I will add a link here for that video. It's short and it really goes over. This is what it means. So the bottom line, the way that I always remember is the orange designs are the ones that go into the seam. So like lines or plaid or any of the ones that um, go into the seams, those are orange designs. And the blue designs were originally meant for the clear blue tiles. Those are all confined designs. They're all within the size they don't go into the seams at all all right I don't know if that'll help but the video will go over all of it so 2 by 12 quilting design in food 2 for this and like I said it you can cut this to two and a half by 12 and a half like it says in the book or if you have extra 3 by 13 is what I cut mine to for both the fabric and for the batting all right so that's it that's all we have today um, i'm going to bring you over to the computer so i want to re remind you that if you are not using embroidery software you would do the relish design in one hooping that um what's it called 
the relish today design you would do that in one hooping and then do your filler blocks in another hooping to be able to get them to work and that is totally fine i'm going to bring you over to the computer for those that want to join them all in one hooping to save on stabilizer save on time um, we'll see what we can fit into one hooping for our last three blocks it's basically the flag the one filler and the relish block so let's go over to the computer and see what we can join together everyone so I'm at my computer and I'm hungry for lunch so we're gonna do this quick today so I'm gonna open up in brilliance essentials that is the embroidery software that I prefer and you can see down here at the bottom it opens up to it opened up to my 10 by 16 hoop that's because I already tested this and um, we do need a 10 by 16 so like I mentioned if your biggest hoop is a 9 by 14 or a 6 by 10 or an 8 by 12 um, you would want to do this in two hooping. So you could do the relish block separately um, and then do the flag and the uh, filler block separately. That will work fine. So I'm gonna show for those of you that have the 10 by 16 hoop, I did test a nine by 14 and it was just a little too small. So you would want to do the relish um, block separately. So I'm going to go ahead and go to merge stitch file. Um, by the way, let me close this. If you're not on the hoop size you want, go to this folder right here, the preferences folder and click on the hoop size you want and say OK. And then go up here to this compass button and click on H for the hoop. So it'll zoom into the hoop. All right, so I'm going to start with the relish uh, block. That's our main block today. So I'm going to go to merge stitch file and our quilting for that is lines one. Okay, so I had to go download um, lines one again. It wasn't on my hard drive. So lines one right there, embroidery files, Pez. All right, and we are looking for four by eight, no, six by six, sorry about that. Six by six for the relish one. This is, all right, and since this is a square, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the horizontal lines one. You can see it comes in horizontal or vertical. So depending on how you have it in your hoop, um, it's a square though. So I believe it'll just come out straight. So I'm going to do horizontal lines one right there. And I'm going to click on the stitching and I'm going to move it up to the corner here, making sure not to go over the hoop. All right. So that is for the relish today block. And I'm going to go ahead and, and bring in the other blocks, the other quilting designs first before I bring in the relish embroidery design. So I'm going to go to merge stitch file. And the next one that we want is that flag. So that one is going to be floral one in a four by eight. Floral one right there. All right. And four by eight. Right there, four by eight floral one. All right, and I am going to bring this down here. Now notice there's not a lot of space in between here. Um, this one will only have either no extra space or a half inch, depending on how you cut your filler blocks. This one will have a full inch though. So we will have to be careful of the overlap there. All right, that's the four by eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the next one, which is for that one filler block. I'm gonna to go to merge stitch file and I'm gonna close up floral one. And this one we are looking for food two. Block by block, Pez. Block by block is the orange design. This clear blue tiles version would be the blue design, if that helps to understand. All right, so two by 12. So don't forget I said that you would need to re-download it because I believe the original file only came to two by 10 as the largest, but this one will be a two by 12 if you re-download from the Kimberbell website. And then I'm gonna click on the stitching and I'm gonna move it over here to the right-hand corner. All right, so those are all brought in. Um, before we do our... Um, before we bring in the embroidery, I'm gonna go ahead and change all of these colors so that they will join in the way that I want them to join. So I'm gonna start with this first one. So very quickly go through these. So the first one, this default blue one one, I'm gonna click on the color and the first color that comes up for me is dark aqua. And then one two, click on the color 
And the first one that comes up for me is Blaze. And like I've mentioned before, it doesn't matter what color you choose. You just want to make sure it's the same color on each of the designs so that the parts will join. So now I'm on one three, click on the color. We already used dark aqua, so I'm going to the second one down, which for me is marine. And then one four, click on the color. We already used blaze, so I'm gonna use Oriole. And then on this, so one of these is on a light blue fabric, the other one is on red and white, and the other one is on yellow. So I'm gonna want these all to be different. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the color on each of the quilting designs. So the first one that comes up for me is Sprout. That's for one five. All right, so that one's done. You can leave that open if you want to refer back to the colors that you used. So I'm gonna start on the second design now, and you can see two one, and click on the color, and I'm gonna use Dark Aqua for the first one, and Blaze for the two two. Two three, I'm gonna use Marine. Two four, I'm gonna use Oriole. And then two five, I'm going to use a different color than we used before. So we use sprout, I'm gonna use sea green so that those will not join. All right, so two is done. Now on three, same thing. Three one, dark aqua. Three two, blaze. Three three, uh, marine. Three four, oriole. And then three, five, click on the color. And we want the third color down, which for me is mint. All right, so those are done. I'm gonna go ahead and do a color sort now and then bring in the embroidery design because I want these to join together so that I'm not taking on and off the hoop and I can trim the batting at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a color sort. Right now we have 15 color steps, so utility, color sort by the way before you do your color sort just make sure that nothing is over the edge onto the hoop or anything like that because you won't be able to move it once you do a color sort so always check to make sure that you're ready to do that um, that merge so i'm going to go to utility color sort and it's reduced it by eight color changes don't forget to have these same uh, steps that I have, force applique and material, those are not chosen, RHS is not chosen, tolerance is at zero. So I'm going to click new view, here's untitled one with the three different designs, untitled two, they're all merged together into one design. So I'm just going to quickly run through this and make sure it did what I want it to do. So the first one is that placement of the batting, tack down of the batting, and those are all merged together perfectly. There's a plane going by, excuse that sound. Um, one three, those are all together. That's the placement of our main fabric. And one four, the tack down of our main fabric. And then the three quilting designs that are separate. So that worked out perfectly. So don't forget, we want to bring in that relish design now. So I'm going to go to merge stitch file. And I'm going to close up the quilting and go to the embroidery files. Pez is what I use for my machine. We're doing the red, white, and bloom quilt. And I'm going to look for that Relish Today design. Right there, Relish Today in a five by seven. Double click on that, it will go to the center. Now we wanna line it up with this. We will not be able to line it up um, exactly using that um, align and distribute because we already joined these together. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If that's really important to you, um, we can actually go back. I'm going to I'm gonna change my mind on that. I forgot that we would not be able to line this up. You can certainly visually line it up just fine. Um, but the other option, since we have untitled one, I'm going to go ahead and bring in that Relish Today design. I can do it a couple of ways. I can go to that Merge Stitch file and bring it in, or I can just click on it on this second tab here. Say Control C to copy bring it over to Untitled 1 and say Control V like victory. All right, and then, because those are not joined together, remember. So then I'm gonna click on one, that's our quilting design for the first design, and I'm gonna click on four. To do both, you have to click the Control button on your keyboard, and we have one and four, and right here I can go to Utility, Align and Distribute, and I'm gonna say Center, Center to make sure that that will line up. See it move just this tiniest little bit. All right, and so that is now centered exactly in the center of that first design. Now, something different, 
because if we did an align and distribute, or I'm sorry, if we do a color sort now, here's look at all those default blues and oranges back again. That will be a hassle. You can go through and change all of those colors very easily um, to make sure it does not join. You don't want it to join with your quilting. Or what we can do is we can say, um, click down from the bottom and, and drag up to select all, control C, and I'm gonna open a new page, file new page, and say control V like victory to paste all of those. And you can see we've got them here. All right, so I'm gonna go to this first design. Actually, I'm gonna go to the second one and I'm gonna, cause we've already done our align, we've already done our color sort. I'm gonna delete that first, that relish today design by clicking the delete button on my keyboard. We already have these all color sorted. We're down to seven color steps. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Untitled 3 that has that relish design and I'm gonna click outside so that nothing is selected and then click just on the relish today design. And I'm gonna say Control C to copy it. And I'm gonna go back to that Untitled 2 and I'm gonna say Control V. Control V, there we go, <laughs> Control V. And it is now aligned just right because we did our align and distribute on that other tab. All right, so now we have, I hope you got that. That was pretty quick, but it, it was very simple. We just copied it from the Untitled 3 tab and brought it over to our Untitled 2 tab because that's the one that has our quilting designs already all joined. All right, so then we have all of our quilting designs right there in that first design. And then we, after we do the quilting on each of those, we will do the relish design. All right, and we're not gonna do a color sort again because of all of those untitled, um, not untitled, all of those default blues and default oranges. But now we've got it just right and it's down to 21 color steps. Those first seven are the quilting designs. And then the last bit of it is doing the embroidery and applique on the relish design. And that's done, very easy. I'm going to go to File, Save, Stitch, File, As. And I am going to save it, where am I? Um, I'm in Cuties, because that's what I was working before my trip. I'm going to go to, let's see, Red, White, and Bloom right there. Embroidery Files. And I'm gonna save it in the quilt and I am going to say relish and seven fillers because it's section seven. All right, name it whatever you want that will help you to remember where to find it um, and what it's called. Um, my machine is not on right now. I would do a um, utility sent to Solaris XP1. Um, or you can send it to your USB drive by just plugging that into your computer and copying it over. So that one is all done. Very easy. We are going to finish up our last section of our red, white, and bloom quilt today.
And how are you doing with your goal? Don't forget to tell me about it. So my goal is to gain strength, to work on strength. And I just did a workout this morning on the treadmill. I ran a little more than two and a half miles on this beautiful beach in, I don't remember where it was, but basically South Africa, something with a Z. Um, but anyway, super interesting. The trainer actually ran in bare feet. <laughs> I thought that was funny, but he's running on the beach, so pretty cool. Um, but I'm also going to share pictures because I just got back late last night from Coeur d'Alene. And oh boy, we did a beautiful hike. We, we did a bike ride on the Hiawatha Trail. We did some fun things. So I'll add a few pictures on that adventure as well. So don't forget to tell me, how are you doing with your goal? And my shirt today, it's a cool one. It's Take Me to the Beach but I can't find where I got it. And so those of you that remember, I said uh, my hard drive failed, actually my external hard drive failed, and that's where I have all my spreadsheets and, um, and my embroidery design. So I need to take it to the shop and see if they can try and get the, the files off of my hard drive. But um, in the meantime, I don't have some of that data. Some of it I have saved in a draft file that I can just pull up easily, but this one wasn't on there. And so I don't remember. I really think it was Hoop Mama, and I already checked on HoopMamaDesigns.com. Actually, it's HoopMama.com for you to see if I could find it, and they didn't have it on their site. So this is old. I've had it forever, but it's a really fun design, so I was hoping to find it for you. Unfortunately, I don't have the data um, to share with you, but it's a pretty cool shirt anyway. 